in Yeshua's precious name, I pray that you're well today. So, um, of the last two weeks, I've been praying a bit differently. Uh, I felt a, a new door open. I've told, uh, I've recorded in the past how I pray saying, God, um, you know, cle uh, cleaving to Yeshua's uh, fringes of his garment, praying, hopefully God hears this. Uh, when you, when you catch, that's why I kept saying in the videos, when you touch the garment um, of the fringes of Yeshua, uh, you're reaching, expecting to receive, just like the lady who had an issue of, of blood. She reached out expecting to receive, you know, and um, I, uh, that's changed lately, and I, f I felt a spiritual boldness, a spiritual strength that's come through that I'm very grateful for in Yeshua's precious name. I, um, I feel like, you know, I don't know if you've ever seen this, uh, I felt it in the spirit before I ever saw this filter, but it was interesting because you, you this, there's like this drawing filter that actually covers you up and you become kind of like a person inside of a shell of a drawing and you can kind of see the drawing more than you can see the person behind it and it's a very interesting filter I find it very cool but it, it reminded me of when I saw that um, what the spirit was pretty much saying that when when the father looks at you he sees Jesus you know and I, I around this time felt this door open where I always felt like I have to you know gravel before Christ and say could you please tell the father this could you please tell the father that because I know he knows how to approach the father but um, I've felt recently a, a boldness where it's like, well, you should know how to approach the Father too, because you have the Holy Spirit, you're coming in Yeshua's precious name, you're, you know, doing the best you can, and He is an all-knowing God who understands your heart. So, uh, if you're coming with good intentions, which of course, why would we go bef before the Father with anything else other than that, in Jesus' name, He will see Yeshua when you speak to him so you're allowed into the throne room where his beautiful you know um garment overflows the whole room and the angels are saying holy 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 you are holy in this place you can um kneel i, I like to kneel i'm if you spiritually are told maybe you're a man in christ you can stand before the father i i like to spiritually kneel before the father i uh, in, in you know in yeshua's name and I talk about how I know he's holy, how I know he's good. It helps me because I know he knows that, but it helps me to remember, you know, I think that's why when Jesus told us the Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. You are our dad, our father, our spiritual father, our overarching cosmic father. You are holy. You are wonderful. You are perfect. You are glorious. You are honorable you, you are the word whatever honorable is in walking talking speaking which is jesus that's who you are you know um so reminding ourselves of this saying it out loud this helps us you know because this is about us finding the boldness the the ability to come before the father and so um then saying in yeshua's precious name i repent so when you see me, when you see me, please see the one who sits at your right hand, and then just like the one who sits at your right hand, you speak, he speaks freely with you. Um, and I'm trying to be as free as I can, and uh, from a position of not being a god, and you know, like he is God. And um, you know, I am asking for the Holy Spirit to intercede in any place where I mess up and I, uh, an unholiness comes or tries to break through. The Holy Spirit stops it in Yeshua's precious name. It's allowed me to have faith in in. God being God, you know, and the Holy Spirit being the Holy Spirit and doing what it's going to do, you know, and Yeshua being Yeshua, and, um, you know, knowing that, you know, this is God who created levity, who, not levity, but I mean, humor, what I mean to say is humor, and he, um, he created, you know, us, you know, the ability to be funny and to laugh and the giggle of a baby and the laughter of a five-year-old and the jokes of a, a child, you know, and the, the things that we find that are pure funny. And so w when we sit there, it's always serious, 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 but sometimes I feel like, you know, God created everything that you, you understand, that you know, inside and out. So, um, there's this, um, of course, a fear, but I, I, I have more of a, I guess, I, yeah, I'm relieved. I'm relieved because I feel like now I can pray boldly and I can say in the spots where I don't know, like if I say, loosen the angels, bind these spirits here and there, 
I know that he knows where the spirits need to be bound. And he also knows the ones that are not allowed to be bound. Because there are some things he allows to happen. And so that's really hard for us to say, God, bind this, bind this, bind this. And you, I know you're going to do it, God. But really, he's a God who's like, and some of these things can't be. Because they're supposed to be free to roam around and be like a roaring lion seeking who it will devour. Because some people, they need to be devoured. And it's, that, that's tough. Like, that's tough for me to understand. I don't, I, I at one time was confronted and uh, I was deserving of devouring and I accept that. And in Yeshua's precious name, I was saved. That's what, what makes Jesus and his salvation so amazing. So it really does create a, di a dynamic duality that's necessary. Just like the yin yang, you know, which is not biblical, but I'm just using an example. So it's a balance. So uh, I, I have more respect for the chemistry of the universe that I don't understand. It is mysterious to me. But I also know that I can say, because I'm a simpleton compared to God, I'm allowed to say, God, who is the Father who is in heaven, Yeshua sitting at your hand of the Father, loosen here, uh, loosen wherever you wish, um, bind wherever you know needs to be bound, and know that if you need me to intercede or to act on your behalf as the hands and feet of Yeshua, I will do so. Uh, make sure that I, I can see it, I can know, so then it's clear to me because I'm, I'm a little thick-headed, um, which is a joke. Again, he made things funny, he made funny happen, so I, I think I can joke sometimes if, in pure ways. <laughs> and um, I'm also finding where I can say, you know, in the places where things are bound, could I see it? And then I do see it, you know, and I've, I've made examples in the past of how God is moving and speaking and acting in real time where I'll be praying for something, as I'm doing something else and then it's re something's revealed right in front of me and sometimes it's not it's not sometimes it takes a while sometimes it takes a few days sometimes it takes a year is it? but my eyes are, are ears are always open I'm, I'm usually always in the same t playing in the same spiritual pool anyway you know so and it's to become cleaner it's to become like more like God it's to be evolving it's to be a different Christian um, a year from now than I was last year and the year before so Anyhow, uh, that's what I've been, I've been also, uh, outside of this new prayer life where I, I, I feel a bit more bolder. That's, that's the message here. Um, I mean, we've been studying American history, my daughter and I, over the summer. It's part of her American history unit. We, every summer, just focus on something that she has to know better and a little bit more in depth as time goes on. And right now it's American history. So we, um, I'm going to put a video down below about Francis Scott Key. And here are the last few lyrics of the Star Spangled Banner, which he wrote. Praise the power that hath made and preserved us a nation. Then conquer we must, when our cause is just. And this be our motto, and God is our trust. And the Star Spangled Banner is triumphant and shall wave over the land of the free and the home of the brave. Are we still fr are we still free? Are we still brave? And is God still what we trust in? This is Linda of Christ is King forever. Uh, may God be with you.